Uh, good morning, everybody. It's uh, it's haying season. <coughs> I've uh, I've cut and raked and baled one of the fields. Actually, I've raked two of them, baled up one of them. The other one wasn't quite ready to bale up. Other fields not quite ready to, to rake. But I ran into a problem on the very last bale <coughs> of that field that I was that I was baling up last night. I um, well. My baler went out of time and I broke off both of my threading needles. That's not something I can just run down to tractor supply and get. Um, not sure if I'm going to be able to fix it or not. I think what happened, let's see, you can see right there. I'll walk around to the other side. My timing chain for my, for my nodders, looks like the sprocket got loose on it, the tensioner. Yep, that tensioner came loose, and when that came loose, <coughs> it must have jumped a tooth. And when it went to tie that last bale, when I was cleaning up that very last little bit, it snapped off both of my needles. So, like I said, I still have um, several tons of hay down that I've got to bale up over these next couple of days, and it's supposed to rain starting, get some rain starting tomorrow. So I'm not sure where we're going to end up. We might just end up with rained on hay. We'll figure it out. So, so what do we do, right? I have two balers, two Massey Ferguson Model 12s. Um, this one here I picked up last summer. I, I knew that it ran in the past, but at this moment right now, the the plunger seized up. It, I've got to do some work to free it up, and almost probably two thirds of the pickup teeth are broken. Um, and not only are they broken, it's going to be nearly impossible. Well, not impossible it's going to be a lot of work to get the uh, pickup teeth replaced because they're all slotted head screws that are rusted in there so i'm going to have to weld a nut on each one of those to, to break them free i was planning on doing that anyways <coughs> but that's uh, the status of this baler so the plunger is the plunger in here is just seized up tight I've got, to, I've got to break it free without doing any damage and then replace a whole bunch of pickup tines. For this one, I try to fix the idler pulley, get it back in timing, and either steal the, uh, the, steal the needles off of this baler or I try to weld the needles off of this baler. I think I have both of the broken off pieces. This one fell off in the field. I believe the other one is in here in the uh in the bell chamber so i've got to clean it out so here's my plan i'm going to go ahead and clean this baler out get it all cleaned out and see what we have um maybe even get the pressure washer out can't hurt anything at this point and see what i have on this mounting bearing area and let's see if i can't uh make a decision at this point at that point so i got some cleanup to do
I hope you all appreciate the, the work I go to to be able to show a good, clean piece of equipment for you guys. Now, I pressure wash this because I really want to know. I My thought process is if I can get this idler idler bearing fixed, this sprocket uh, back where it's supposed to be and get that functional, then I think I can get this baler running again. I really do. Um, I think I can weld these, uh, these needles in without and be able to get everything to, uh, well, as good as it was running before, maybe even a little bit better. So I really wanted to clean this out so I could see what I had going on in here. I'm still not quite sure where the failure occurred. Um, so I'm going to grab some tools to disassemble this. And we're just going to keep digging in on this one and see where we end up. I think that nut came loose. I think that nut came loose and it just um, just popped off the chain. Kind of a shame. Just that one little thing. I didn't catch that when I went through and greased this thing up and, and looked over at this spring uh, when I getting ready to, to bail. And uh, it was a failure point I didn't think about. So. I think that I can just clean up and, and uh, loop that bearing, get that thing going, spinning like it should. It'll go back in, it'll tension this chain, then I just gotta get the timing corrected. And then fix these needles. You, I'm gonna try to weld the needles and if I can't get my uh, gapping right with, uh, with my repaired needles, then I'll probably just steal them off of that other baler for now. But I think I can get this thing to, uh, to function. So, um, yeah, and you know what, while I've got it cleaned up, I'll go ahead and uh, service these uh, knotters while I'm in here. I'll, I'll sharpen the knives. I'm going to have to anyways, right? I'm going to have to go through and make sure all my clearances are set. So, I think we got a plan. I'm going to get this baler fixed. 